It's only been in power for a week, but Israel's new government isn't wasting any time. Led by Prime Minister, political veteran Benjamin Netanyahu, the new government includes ministers from what had previously been considered the extreme right fringe of Israeli politics. Mr Netanyahu, who himself faces trial for corruption, has had to corral a new cabinet that includes in its ranks convicted criminals. There's the new National Security Minister, Itamar Ben-Gavir, a West Bank settler who's previously been convicted for racist incitement and supporting terrorists. His visit to a Jerusalem holy site for Muslims this week has drawn intense condemnation. Then there's the Health Minister, Arya Derry, who last year was convicted of tax fraud. His appointment to Cabinet faces appeal in the Supreme Court, but the government is pushing on. This week, Justice Minister Yariv Levin unveiled the government's plan for overhaul of Israel's judiciary. The proposal is aimed to weaken the Supreme Court's influence on the government by giving the parliament the power to override the court's decisions with a simple majority. Critics of that plan say it will undermine Israel's democracy, concentrate power in the new executive and risk greater infringement of minority rights. A crowd of hundreds of anti-government protesters shut down traffic as they gathered outside the Supreme Court on Thursday. We came here to protest the corruption of the Israeli government. We, we don't agree that a criminal will be appointed to be a minister. We are fighting also all the new laws that are going to pass and actually cancel all democracy that is today and weaken the Supreme Court. The proposed changes to the judiciary will next face debate in the parliament before the likelihood of a preliminary vote before the end of the month. More protests opposing the proposed changes are also expected in other parts of the country.